Hey guys, Garrett here at GM Jewelry. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of stone setting today. Um, it's Friday, which is awesome. Everybody loves Friday. Excuse me. Uh, but something that's happened to me here recently that I get a lot of questions about uh, is this. So, a lot of people will say, ah, oh, I got this new ring and it's supposed to be this real metal, but it's turning, it's turning my finger colors, or it's, you know, it's, I'm allergic to it, I'm breaking out, that kind of thing. And a lot of times, that's not the case. It's not the case more times uh, than it is the case. So, uh, while people do have uh, certain allergies, usually to white gold, um, and, and that comes from the nickel that the, that the gold is alloyed with because gold is naturally yellow uh, when it's naturally occurring so they have to alloy it with nickel or platinum or palladium to make it white so a lot of times they'll use nickel because that's the cheapest um, so a lot of people have a nickel sensitivity they also are sensitive to the rhodium plating on the white gold so um, Usually, uh, if someone's going to break out because of a metal allergy, that's what they're allergic to. Uh, yellow gold, platinum, uh, tungsten carbide, titanium, stainless steel, they're all hypoallergenic. So, I've had, <laughs> I had this girl come in uh, when I worked at the mall, and she told me that she was allergic to metals, and all she could wear was 14 karat white gold or surgical stainless steel. <laughs> and I kind of laughed and she wanted to know what I was laughing at and I said y that that can't be the case that can't be the case because all these other metals are hypoallergenic and with the white gold you don't have gold touching your skin it's rhodium uh, so if you're gonna be allergic to anything it's gonna be low carat white gold so I think she just kind of wanted to be different and stuff like that I don't know um, but uh, so what what causes uh, your finger to break out. So it looks it looks a lot like I'm having an allergic reaction. It's very similar. It's flaky. Uh, it's red. It's inflamed. Um, I just made a new ring for myself and it's very wide. Uh, I'm trying out something very wide and it has... I, I took uh, rings of wire uh, and stacked them on top of each other, soldered them together to make a very wide ring. I wanted to try that look out for a while. I s switch out rings from time to time. Uh, my wife didn't really like it when I started doing that, but she's kind of gotten used to it because uh, it's my job. I make jewelry. So um, so what happens uh, is water gets under there when you wash your hands or, or you sweat. Uh, so you have salt, you have a buildup of skin, dead skin cells under there, um, and then you get water in there. And when you have hollow spaces beneath your ring, as most rings do, they'll either have a gallery that's hollowed out or... Uh, some sort of recess on the inside of the ring what that will do is that will trap the salt and the dead skin and it will trap water there and it will sit there on your skin and there's nowhere for that water to go it cannot evaporate so what happens is you end up getting this hive like rash I'll put a picture of it um, so how uh, how do you fight that okay so well let me, let me back up the first thing if you are allergic to metal you will be able to tell pretty quickly. Um, usually you can put on a necklace, it'll make you itch, uh, it'll make you red, it might make you break out a little bit, or rings, you know, usually it's not a slow reaction. So a lot of times, uh, allergy reactions are fairly quick to metals. Uh, so when you get a reaction like I have here, uh, it takes some time to do that. So if all of a sudden, oh no, I'm breaking out, you're not allergic you've gotten water in there. So what you need to do is take off your ring when you wash your hands, when you get your hands wet, when you're, especially when you're cleaning. Do not, do not, do not, in case you didn't hear me, don't do this. Do not put your rings in bleach. Please do not do that. It will destroy the alloy in the gold and then there's nothing that can be done to repair it. Nothing. Um, all you can do is scrap it out. That's it. So, uh, and it's also a good idea to take your rings off while you're in the pool because you don't really know what chemicals are in there. Uh, some of the chlorine in, that they use in pools has bleach. Some of the chlorine is more corrosive than others. 
don't put your rings in chemicals that you don't know are safe. Okay, don't, especially if you know if they're the most important piece of jewelry you're gonna ever own. Take care of your stuff. Okay, don't please if you don't <laughs> if you don't get anything else from this. Don't put your rings in bleach. Don't do it. Okay, so when you're washing your hands, when you're uh, cleaning around the house, when you're doing dishes, stuff like that, take your rings off if you're having this kind of reaction. Then. Whenever you're done, dry your hands off thoroughly. Wait 10 to 15 minutes because you still have some of that water in your skin even though your hands might feel dry. Uh, wait a while. If you're gonna put on lotion or whatever, do that. Wait for that to be absorbed into your skin and then put your rings back on. That is how you can uh, avoid getting that flaky, itchy, irritating reaction when you're not actually allergic to metal. So I get that question all the time. And I just wanted to address that um, to help people better understand that, oh no, you're not allergic to metal. It's not the ring that's doing it. It's not the metal. It's not that. It's just uh, the, the order in which you do things needs to change. So it's a pretty simple thing. Nothing to really freak out about, but um, just a question I get a lot. So if you guys ever have any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, just gmjewelry at outlook.com. Come to the store. Um, give me a call, whatever. So uh, if you have any other jewelry related questions, we're always here to help. We answer questions for free. We evaluate jewelry for free. If you have something you say, hey, I don't know what this is, bring it in. We don't charge anything for that. I don't think people should have to pay to know what they have. So um, thanks for watching and uh, don't put your rings in bleach.